So now we will work on problem 46 from chapter 21. This problem here asks us to write the balanced chemical equation for uh, hydrocarbon combustion reactions, and it gives us three different hydrocarbons. So let's go ahead and work on part A, where we have a a butane molecule, so CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3, and then that's going to react, that's a gas, which is going to react with O2, also a gas, to form uh, water, and carbon dioxide. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the spaces here for the coefficients. Every phase here in all of these problems will be gaseous. Okay, so now the main thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we understand that we're balancing atoms, and also we want to make sure that we have whole numbers for the coefficients. So let's go ahead and show an example of, we see on the left side, we have four carbons. So we could go ahead and say that we need four carbon dioxides to balance these four carbons. So if we do that, then we need to balance, uh, we need to calculate the water based on the amount of hydrogens in the hydrocarbon. And we can see that we have 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3, which is 10 hydrogen atoms. So we could write a, a coefficient of 5 for a water. So then we can calculate on the right side the total number of oxygen that we have, which is uh, 8 from carbon dioxide, 2 times 4, and 5 from, from water, which gives us a total of 13, which means that we would have to have a coefficient of 6.5, or, or 13 over 2, and that just won't work. That just won't work because we need to have a whole number, so that's not possible. So we erase that, and then we continue on. So what we need to realize is that we need to double. Uh, first, we need to add a 2 over here. So that gives us a total of 8 carbons on the left side. And then, which would mean we need to have 8 carbon dioxides. <clears throat> so then if we calculate the amount of hydrogen that we have on the left, we have... We had the, initially we had 10 hydrogens, but when we multiply by two, we get 20. So that means we now need 10 water at, uh, molecules. So then we can calculate how much oxygen we need to produce uh, this amount of H2O and CO2. So the total number of oxygen atoms on the right-hand side is two times eight, which is 16, plus 10, which is 26. So if we do 26 divided by 2, that means we need 13 oxygen molecules here. So our coefficients are 2, 13, 10, and 8. So that this gives us um, the balanced chemical equation. So we can go ahead and move to part B, which is a reaction of an alkene with... Uh, oxygen. So we have CH2 double bond CH CH3 plus oxygen gives us water and carbon dioxide. So again, we first want to calculate the number of carbons we have. So we have uh, 
Uh, we have three carbons on this side, which means if we put a three here, we'll get three carbons on this side. But we remember the problem that we had previously with uh, the carbon having uh, an odd number of oxygen atoms. So let's go ahead and double and put two here and put six here, which means we need to put six here to give us six carbons. And then we can calculate the number of hydrogens which we have over here. That is uh, six times two is 12. And so we look over here, excuse me, we look over here and we see that to have six, uh, 12 hydrogens, we need to have six water molecules. So a six here would give us 12 hydrogens. And then if we look at the number of oxygen first on the right, we can see that we have six from water and we have 12 from carbon dioxide. So we have 18 here, which means that we need to have a coefficient of nine here to give us 18 total oxygen. So we can see again that if we hadn't doubled, if we hadn't added the two coefficient to the hydrocarbon, uh, we would have had the same problem where we would have had nine over two. But now uh, we simply have nine and the reaction is balanced. So for part C, we have an alkyne. So we have CH, triple bond, C, CH2, CH3, plus O2, all phases are gas phase, H2O, plus CO2. So once again, we count our carbons. We're going to go ahead and add a coefficient of two right away. And we see that we get eight carbons out of here. We go on to the right, and we see that uh, if we add a coefficient of eight to the carbon dioxide, we will get eight carbon atoms. We look to the left for number of hydrogen atoms. We can see that we have six hydrogens in one molecule, so times two is equal to 12. And then if we look at the right, we need to create a coefficient of six for water to give uh, 12 hydrogen atoms. And then if we look at oxygen first from the right, we can see that we have uh, six from water, six oxygens from water, 16 from carbon dioxide for a total of 20, 22. And so on the left, to have a total of 22 oxygen atoms, we need to have 11 oxygen molecules to give us 22 atoms. So our coefficients are 2, 11, 6, and 8.